So this is the venue, huh? Not half bad. Ah, don't you worry, Jack Attack. We'll find that dog, even if it's hiding in Tenshu Kaku. Ito, it's just a myth. Compadre and Paimon! <laughs> you finally made it! Oh man, have I missed you guys! <laughs> oh, yeah, and this is Dvorak, a musician from Fontaine. Jack Attack, you know these two, right? Hey, Mr. Dvorak, it's you! <laughs> ah, it's so wonderful to see you both again. I feel like that lantern right was just yesterday. How have you been? Pretty good! So how did you end up hanging around with Ito? Is he helping you with the iridescence tour now? Oh, you better believe it, Minnie Melon. But that's only half the story. This is no ordinary iridescence tour. Me and Jack Attack are teaming up to turn this into the iridescent Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness! Rockin' for Life? What do you know about rock and roll, Bullchucker? Huh? What, you never heard of Bull Chucker Rock before? Moo, moo, moo! Mm, uh, and, uh. <laughs> Don't try and understand it, Minnie Melon. It'll melt your mind. It's about letting loose. Come on, give us some Lavender Melon Rock. Okay, speak for yourself, mister. Sounds like you're the one whose mind is melting. Just a local legend I heard about. Apparently there was a war between the islands of Narukami and Watatsumi not too long ago. Is that right? Such a waste. When will people learn? Make rock and roll, guys. Not war. Uh, a tragedy to be sure. Countless animals were affected by the fallout. A raven, a bakedanuki, a weasel thief, and many more sustained injuries. Uh, fair point. The animals didn't deserve that. But, I'm not to downplay it or anything, but didn't even worse stuff happen than that? In the eyes of a rocker, all living things are equally important. N no, the story goes that this dog was something like a ninkin. It would show up out of nowhere in the middle of a battle to rescue the injured animals and take them to safety. Rockin' and rollin' to the rescue! A king among canines! Woo! <laughs> There'll always be a place for him in the Arataki gang. In Rito, I was actually there while the war was going on. It inspired me to write a song about it. 
I was even planning to host a music festival around the same theme, but unfortunately, uh, I couldn't convince my investors. Oh, yeah. I heard all about that. They claimed they had to cancel their plans because of an accident at sea, but <laughs> that was just a lame excuse. Uh, yes. They weren't optimistic about the potential return on investment. Plus, I don't know, there seemed to be some other risks they were worried about. What kind of risks? Good question. Risks only apparent to people with Mora to throw around, I suppose. I agree. <laughs> when people have too much Mora, they lose their rock and roll spirit. They do, huh? So what do you mean by rock and roll spirit anyway? Uh, you know, the spirit of, uh, you rock up, rock out, roll the dice, and roll with the punches. <laughs> and that sort of stuff. Definition, aren't the investors the most rock and roll people in this scenario? Anyway, point is, those chumps are out, and Arataki Ito is in. I'm running the show from here on out. Oh, yeah, right! How are you gonna fill in for the investors? Do you even have any more? I'd have faith in Ito. He tells me that the Arataki gang is a small but well-known and influential organization in this area, and has even been known to rub shoulders with the local authorities. Isn't that right? Rub shoulders is putting it mildly. More like they're always locking horns. Hey, don't look down your nose at the Arataki gang. I got connections, all right? Even the track commission listens to what I have to say. Okay, Mr. Big Shot, whatever you say. You can doubt it all you want, Minnie Melon, but it's the truth. You know that guy in the Yashiro Commission? Well, he and I are officially bros. That's right. I'm talking about Toma, housekeeper extraordinaire. And there's the general from the Tenryo Commission, Kujo Tengu. I mean, sure, we're always ribbing each other, but it comes from a place of deep mutual respect. Mutual? Yeah, Paimon's not so sure about that. Okay, fair. No first name contacts there. But the Arataki gang is a big contributor to the revenue stream. All those fines we pay. Uh, fines? Huh? No! Uh, I meant, I mean, uh, uh, taxes. <laughs> yeah. But that's not all. Let's not forget my contacts outside of the Tri-Commission, huh? Amazing, talented people from all walks of life. Like, uh, oh, like the TCG legend, Ayato. Oh, yeah. He's made quite a name for himself in the TCG circles. In fact, they got a saying now. Ayato of the South, Ito of the North. Ha <laughs> ha That's right. I'm the only serious competition he's got in all of Inazuma. Did... Did you make that saying up? Then there's the Fox Lady, VIP customer of Yukio's ramen stall and fellow participant in the Ramen Masters Championship. I was her only worthy opponent. Also, you know that lonely god in Tenchukaku? Well, guess what? Turns out it was her lifelong wish to catch one of Arataki Ito's events. During the Drum Along Festival, the Tenryo Commission were worried that their almighty shogun might have too much fun and lose interest in running the government. That's why they invited me over to stay for a couple of days. Wow, look at you! Sounds like you're really going up in the world. At this rate, you'll have made shogun by the next time we see you! And then Paimon will have to call you Almighty Bullchucker! Um, well, I'll admit I heard a few exaggerations there myself, but... Regardless, Ito has helped me secure a venue for this event, and for that, I owe him my thanks. Ah, it's nothing. Don't mention it. My bro Goro sorted it all out for me. Let's both go thank him later. Wait, you know Goro? Yep, I always knew him as General Goro of the Resistance Fighters. But I had no idea there was more to the story. Turns out, he has another identity. Uh, heard of Miss Hina, right? Miss Hina, so you... Hey, no need to yell, all right? Yes, Miss Hina. She's the one who told me. 
After falling for the Tenryo Commission's tricks at the Drumalong Festival, I figured I'd find a new location this time, somewhere out of their reach, like uh, here, for example. So I wrote Miss Hina a letter, asking if she knew anything about the procedure for holding an event on Watatsumi Island. She wrote me back right away and said I could ask Watatsumi Island's general for help, and that his name was Goro. I was like, what? General Goro is the general of all Watatsumi Island? <sighs> that was close. Paimon's with you now, but what did you think general meant? What do you mean? Isn't it like one general per squad or something? That's called a captain. Really? Huh. Well, either way, if it wasn't for Miss Hina, I never would have known. Pretty rock and roll, huh? <laughs> All right. Good chat, compadre. I just remembered I got a meeting with Goro coming up. Gonna ask him about that dog situation. Gonna have to love you and leave you for now. <laughs> you guys focus on having a blast here at the festival. I think I can handle this little canine conundrum. There's still a few days left until the big party, so not everything's set up yet. But, uh, the jam zone and the roasted lavender melon zone are ready for action. Have fun, compadre. Got a dash. <sighs> what a character. Kind of admire his enthusiasm, though. Well, it looks like it's just the three of us for now. Why don't I show you the jam zone to start with? Here we are. I've supplied musical scores and instruments from various regions, including a horn I personally brought from Fontaine. You can play whatever music you like. If you get tired, the roasted lavender melon zone is just over there. Ito says that lavender melons are <clears throat> rock and roll fuel. So what do you think? Want to give it a try? Oh, lucky Ito's gone, otherwise Paimo would never hear the end of it. Oh, let's change the topic. What other fun stuff is there to do here, Mr. Dvorak? Well, we're planning to invite some more music enthusiasts, and we're still getting some supplies together, so we can decorate the place a little. But it could take some time. The Arataki gang has shifted their focus to the dog situation ever since I brought it up. Only one of them is actually sticking to the plan. Her name is Kuki Shinobu. She's out delivering invitations right now. Yep, that's the Arataki gang for ya. Everyone else goofs around while Shinobu gets things done. We should help out. We can't let this event get totally derailed when Shinobu's out there doing her part. Oh, I mean... Are you sure? That uh, would be extremely useful. We're starting to get behind schedule, and a couple extra pairs of hands could make all the difference. Problem. We're happy to help. So you need us to find some music lovers and gather materials for decorating, was that it? Exactly. According to the original plan, we aim to finish everything in five days, and then the big party can begin. Uh, actually, uh, give me a second. I'll make you a checklist of all the outstanding tasks. That way it'll all be clearer. Oh, also, one other tidbit to share with you? Ito is planning to perform a song on stage on the final day of the event. Ugh, typical bullchucker always has to be the center of attention. Oh, Paimon would steal the show for sure! No one would give Ito a second look after that! Pretty sure he'd yell out, Paimon's so rock and roll it hurts! And then he'd run off the stage, bawling his eyes out! <laughs> Those are some bold claims, Miss Paimon. But that kind of confidence would serve you well on the stage. Ah, Paimon's just kidding. Anyway, we'll be ready for that checklist as soon as it's done, Mr. Dvorak. Great. Feel free to take a look around. I'll bring it over in a few minutes. Yeah, Skyward! <laughs> What 
Well, well, well. If it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. Wow, Shinobu and Heizo! What a surprise! <laughs> this truly is a pleasant surprise. Although, not that surprising, to be honest. I was just telling Miss Shinobu that I had a sneaking suspicion we might run into you. <laughs> Doshin Shikanoin was talking about you constantly the whole way here. I guess the universe answered his prayers. Eh, it's called intuition. Names pop into my head at relevant moments, just the way my mind works. I sure wasn't expecting Hazo to be the first one to show up. Boss nagged me to prioritize the Tenryo Commission invitations. He specifically requested Madame Kujo Sara and Doshin Shikanoin. So, why isn't Sara here? <sighs> Almost certainly because she has no desire whatsoever to see Ito. In her defense, here's what was written on the invitation letter. Kujo Tengu. Come meet me at the top of the Sanganamiya Shrine. Let's go nuts and have a totally rock and roll sumo wrestling match. If I were Kujo Sar, I'd jump at the chance to throw Ito off the roof. But then wouldn't Kokumi come and throw Sara off too? All that stamping around on her roof, the noise would drive her crazy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, Madame Kujo Sara's response was much more magnanimous than mine would have been. She gave us a basket of lavender melons to bring as a gift. Magnanimous? <laughs> I'm not so sure. Something tells me she's trying to send a message. What message? If that Oni brat wants to pick a fight with me, there will be plenty of lavender melons waiting for him at the police station. Mm, maybe the fact you assume that says more about you than her. So what about the other basket of lavender melons, huh? Is that one from you? What message are you trying to send? <laughs> the other basket is actually from a few of us at the police station. I chipped in, and so did some other Doshin who've arrested Ito before, and so did some of Ito's former cellmates. So, I guess this basket of lavender melons is our way of saying, there'll always be a place for you here. Uh, maybe just give Boss the melons and don't mention that part. Sure. Well, my work is done here, anyway. Now that I've delivered the lavender melons and said hello to the traveler, I should probably get going. Uh, aren't you gonna stay for the event? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll definitely be back for the big party. But I have some business to attend to in Rito first. Eesh, being a detective sounds busy. I got you running around all over the place. Oh wait, Rito! Do you happen to know anything about a mystery Ninken that appeared during the war? Apparently, a lot of people in Rito were talking about it. Ah, the dog, yes. That was the inspiration behind this music festival, wasn't it? Shinobu told me all about it. Oh, never mind. Paimon just thought a detective might have the inside scoop. I'm only speculating here, but from experience, I'd say it's probably just a local legend. I doubt the dog even exists. What's wrong? From the look on your face, You've got a vested interest in this situation. Hmm. Interesting. Well, since I'm going to Rito anyway, I can always ask around and see where it leads. <laughs> Don't be silly. If this matters to you, that's a good sign that it'll turn out to be something that interests me, too. <laughs> Stay tuned for more info. See you all soon. 
seems like Doshin Shikanoin's quite the lone wolf. Well, I better get back to delivering these invitations. Gotta make sure the big party's a success. In that case, guess it's time for us to get to work, too. Wonder how that checklist is coming along. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here's that list for you. If you can work your way through all this, we'll be back on track. Great! Perfect timing, Mr. Dvorak! We'll get on it right away! Thank you. I'm very grateful for your help. If you feel like flexing your musical muscles to take a break at any point, just come and find me in the Jam Zone. There you are, little one. I knew I'd find you here. That's all you have to say, after all this time apart? How devastating. To think of all the times that I've sat down beneath the sacred Sakura, praying for your well-being on your travels. But I think I understand. Another wise and beautiful soul has stolen your heart, haven't they? I'm sure you cast aside the omamori I gave you long ago. Alas, I am but another fleeting passerby on your journey. Oh, woe is me. You can always count on Nico to tease the Traveler relentlessly. Well, it's not my fault that he's the most appealing little fortune slip in the world. If I didn't indulge my curiosity by taking a peek inside, goodness knows how I'd sleep at night. Though I must say, another interesting fortune slip caught my attention recently. I believe you've heard of it too. This iridescent Arataki rockin' for life tour de force of awesomeness. Something to do with a dog, apparently. My first thought was, I wonder if it could be the boss of Komori Tea House, Toromaru. Toromaru? Oh yeah, he might actually have what it takes. Hmm, you think he was the one rescuing animals during the war? Sounds likely, doesn't it? 
boss of a tea house by day, changes outfit after work, then runs to a war zone to save lives. And what a fascinating character it would make for a light novel. But the question is, do we think he was only saving animals? I'm just speculating, little one. You know how much I like to let my imagination run wild. <laughs> I look forward to opening up this fortune slip. Who knows what might be written inside? Oh, compadres, you're here! Hey, serious props to you both. This place looks amazing! Even better than I'd imagined! <laughs> <sighs> Everything looks perfect. We're ready for business. Traveler, Paimon, you have our thanks. Guys, guys, why so serious? That ain't rock and roll, man! Hey, look at that! My favorite melon's a fast learner! Also, I hear you're gonna be taking the stage tonight. Whoa, itching for a little competition, huh? Uh, Paimon was just joking. <sighs> Seriously, Dvorak? Unbelievable! Getting cold feet? Ah, don't blame ya. I am the reigning champion of the great sing-along, after all.
too rock and roll. Paimo is just being humble. Then bring it on. Oh, Paimon's bringing it, all right. Paimon's bringing it all the way home. Ha! Ah, we hit a complete dead end. Goro said he didn't know anything. Mamaru and the guys asked around the city, but no luck there either. What if it really is in Tenshukaku? Is that why we can't find it? Oh, no, no! Don't go poking around Tenshukaku again! You'll give Kujo Sara a migraine! Couldn't agree more. If I bother her too much, I'll end up getting struck by lightning. So that's why this time, I kept my distance and just threw some paper notes towards Tenchukaku. Hopefully, the Raiden Shogun sees them and hands the dog over. Wait, what? You're still taking a big risk there! It looks like Doshin Shikanoin was right. It's probably just a local legend after all. Well, let's hope not, because that would really suck. Wish I had more time to look into it, but unfortunately, this guy's got a performance to practice for. Now don't forget, there's lyrics and music scores in the jam zone, so no wussing out tonight. Don't get too cocky, Bullchucker. We'll see who's rock and roll. <laughs> Game on, Mini Melon. Oh, Paimon better get some practice in at the jam zone soon. No way is Paimon gonna lose to Ito! Oh, by the way, we invited a ton of people this time. Including some people you know. A few have already shown up, and they're asking about you. Wanna go say hi? Cool, yeah! Let's go see them! Paimon's curious to find out who you invited. Oh, you're a real trooper, Yoimiya. This must be one of the furthest places you've ever delivered to. I promised Ito that I'd supply fireworks for his festival. I wasn't about to go back on my word. Hey, Toma, Yoimiya. Traveler, Paimon. Cool, you're here too. <laughs> well, looks like I owe the Arataki gang a huge thank you. If they weren't putting on this event, who knows when I would have gotten to see you next. <laughs> you hear that? In case it was too subtle for you, Toma is complaining that you guys never make time to come and visit your old pals. Oh, that's true. Obviously, traveling's very important to you, but you gotta take a break every once in a while. Just remember that you've got friends out there that would love nothing more than the chance to make you feel looked after. Of course! I heard this really cool thing I gotta share with you guys. So, Ito says that the theme of his music festival comes from a story about a dog that saved animals in the war zone. How amazing is that? What do you know about this dog, Toma? Everyone knows how well connected you are. <laughs> For once, not much, I'm afraid. I guess my connections are one key canine short. But assuming this really happened, I feel like Watatsumi Island would have had to be involved. This is a dog who managed to sneak in and out of a war zone, repeatedly, without leaving a trail for anyone to follow. Whatever the case, it would have needed someone to help cover its tracks. As far as I know, the Shogun's army doesn't do that kind of thing. So you're saying it was the Sanganomiya troops? They had a specially trained dog for rescuing critters from the battlefield? Sounds kind of far-fetched if you ask me. Do we really think Sanganomiya's forces had enough manpower to fight a full-scale war and run a, a, a... what? A canine wildlife rescue operation on the side? Okay, well, if it wasn't Sanganomiya's side, it must have been the Shogunate! Right. So, in my view, it's more likely that Mr. Dvorak simply made the story up as something to capture people's imaginations. I mean, he's an artist, right? Isn't rock music about expressing things we don't fully understand? Kind of like fireworks in a way. Uh, don't question it, just feel it. Hmm. Yeah, that sort of makes sense. That makes you an artist too, Yoimiya! Fireworks are your art. <laughs> I'll take it. And on that note, boy, do I have an art show for you tonight. Make sure you don't miss it. Sounds 
Sounds like you know a few things about art yourself, Toma. Art? Me? <laughs> Does knitting sweaters count? Absolutely. Knitting is totally an art form. Just not a very rock and roll one, I guess. I don't think I'll be doing any knitting tonight. Oh, not with that attitude. You could, uh, knit sweaters with rock and roll and big letters. Then get everyone to wear them. Hmm, good idea. I'll look into it next time. This Miss Hina looks very familiar. Even the outfit. Ah, uh, I was thinking the same thing, Your Excellency, but I just can't put my finger on it. She really is the spitting image. Of who? Goro, come to me, hey! Oh, hello, you two. It's been a while. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you again. I was just asking Shinobu if she knew where you were. This is a nice surprise. Paimon didn't expect to run into you two at an Arataki Gang music festival. Oh, I barely did anything. A reader for my That's Life column was asking for advice about it, so I figured I'd help out. Turned out the reader in question was Mr. Arataki Ito. Her Excellency was also very supportive of the whole thing. Mm. An international rock and roll music festival sounded like a good way to attract tourists. And it's to bring attention to the plight of living things, right? Seems like a meaningful cause. Yeah, apparently it has something to do with a dog that was a war hero? Although sadly probably not a true story. Have either of you heard anything about that? Oh, you know, bits and pieces. Nothing concrete. Hmm, yeah, no, me neither. Hmm, those sounded suspiciously like prepared answers. <laughs> Probably because we've answered that question before. Mr. Arataki Ito came to ask us about it a while back. We'd certainly love to help if we can. Yes, of course. Um, <clears throat> actually, I was hoping to ask for your opinion on something. Does Miss Hina look familiar to you at all? I have this strange feeling like I've seen her somewhere before. Um... But you don't remember where? Ah, she probably just looks similar to someone you know. Like how the Traveler looks similar to his sister. There's no mystery here, don't overthink it. Ah, I see. Well, that does make sense. Traveler, let's get out of here. Who could it be? <laughs> hey, there you are. I sent you some letters a few days ago. Have they shown up yet? Ooh, does this mean you figured it out? I've made some progress, but I'm still missing the final piece of the puzzle. I don't have anything conclusive yet, but I have a hunch that it involved both the Yashiro Commission and Sanganamiya. What? You mean like in cahoots during the war? Shh. Like I said, it's just a hunch. Let's not get carried away. Anyway, I've written to the station, and they shouldn't take too long to get back to me. Yuriki Iwata should be able to help find what I need. In the meantime, you'll just have to be patient. I would have gone back to the station to look into it myself, but I knew Ito was performing tonight, and I didn't want to miss it. Oh, wow! Sounds like I'm in for a real treat. I definitely picked the right place to be tonight. Will the Traveler's long-serving voice finally graduate from speech to song in a triumphant victory over the Oni Rocker of Hanamizaka? <laughs>
I'll be awaiting with bated breath. Cut it out! Both of you! No more stupid nicknames! Hyman didn't realize so many people we know would be here. Better get practicing or tonight could be super embarrassing. Come on, let's head to the jam zone. What if Madame Cujo Sar is the one who got my letter? No, surely she wouldn't intentionally ignore it. Hey, Mr. Dvorak, you're still here! Sure am. I've been checking over the equipment, scores, and lyric sheets to make sure everything's ready for tonight. Shinobu was telling me how popular light novels are here in Inazuma, so I've tweaked the melody and lyrics for a more Arataki gang feel with a light novel twist. Light novels plus rock music, so... Light rock! <laughs> I actually didn't change too much. Just took out the dog and made it about Onikabuto instead. Should be more up Ito's alley. This event couldn't have happened without him. It's my way of showing him some appreciation, I guess. What? You got rid of the dog? But wasn't that the whole inspiration behind the festival? Yes, but that's all it was. The initial inspiration. Doesn't matter if we change it to an Onikabuto, or you, or me, or anything else. It's the spirit of it that counts. Spirit? What do you mean? Um... The spirit of rock and roll? Okay, should have seen that coming. <laughs> it's all about the music, my friends. Just enjoy the music. That's all that matters. Ah, fair enough. All right, well, speaking of enjoying music, is it all right if Paimon goes first? Paimon's got to get practicing, or Bullchucker's going to hog the spotlight tonight. By all means, be my guest. I knew you'd come around to the idea of going on stage. Here's the music score and lyrics. I can't wait to see this. Ooh, let's see now. What's this song called? I got reincarnated as an Onikabuto and flipped the world upside down? What sort of song title is that? Is this supposed to be rock and roll? Soft rock, actually. No, no peeking! You can hear them tonight when Paimon sings the song. Paimon's gonna rock so hard, Bullchucker won't know what hit him. Ladies and gentlemen. Tonight is a night to celebrate, and I trust you're all having a wonderful time. It's been a non-stop rock and roll ride this evening, and we're almost at the end. But first, it is my huge honor to invite two very special guests to the stage. The illustrious Mr. Arataki Ito and Miss Paimon. The two of them will be performing a brand new song written specially for tonight's event. It's called... I Got Reincarnated as an Onikabuto and Flipped the World Upside Down. Take it away!
So that's rock music, huh? It's a little different than I imagined. Really? It's different from what I'd heard before. Could be a relatively new genre of rock, I suppose. So, how'd you like my performance? Did I dominate this little melon here or what? <laughs> okay, Bull Chugger, you got owned and you know it! Oh, stop it, you two. I think both of you are sensational. Here, here. <laughs> really mind blowing stuff, guys. I call it a draw. You're very evenly matched. Huh? You think? Okay, well, uh, what about you, my compadre? Who do you think is the most rock and roll? <laughs> the Javelers always got time on back! Take that, Bullchucker! Ha! Huh? Oh, my gullible little melon. You don't really believe that, do you? He just didn't want to hurt your feelings. <laughs> Let's not argue anymore, shall we? Ito and Paimon, you both gave incredibly moving performances. I owe you all an enormous debt of gratitude. Without your help, this music festival never would have happened. <laughs> don't mention it, Jack Attack. Hey, if we hadn't met, I wouldn't even know what the spirit of rock and roll means. The spirit of rock and roll? So what does it mean? What does it mean for rock music to have a spirit? It means you rock up, rock out, roll the dice, and roll with the punches. Just like me and Paimon. Yeah, that's obviously not what it means. Mr. Dvorak, could you please give us the official definition? Someone needs to take this guy down a peg. <laughs> <laughs> An unofficial definition? I don't know that one exists. It's an emotional experience. As though you're hearing your own story speak to you through the music. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking that the spirit of rock and roll is, uh, well, like the Onikapito in the song. Having the courage to grab life by the horns and survive against all the odds. Guess I have a better sense of rock and roll than I thought. <laughs> What about you, Yoimiya? Oh, well, I thought it was going to be all about that dog, but then the song didn't even mention it, so, uh, was that supposed to be symbolic? Like, if the dog didn't exist, maybe the injured animals didn't either. If there was no injured animals, then that means there was no war, which means the world is at peace. Oh, so for Yoimiya, the rock and roll spirit is all about world peace. Me? Uh, I hadn't given it all that much thought. I was mostly worrying about whether those paper notes Boss threw into Tenshukaku are going to get him in trouble with the Tenryo Commission. <laughs> that must mean that for Shinobu, the rock and roll spirit is about keeping the Arataki gang safe. Shinobu, seriously, you've got nothing to worry about. If the Raiden Jogan had seen any of those notes, she'd have come to join the party. Paimon agrees that you don't need to worry. Have arrested Ito by now. <laughs> Wait, where is that guy anyway? And where did Kokumi and Goro go? Oh, Doshin Shikanoin had to run back to the station, so he didn't get the chance to say goodbye to you guys. But he did leave something for you. It's over there. As for the other two, they couldn't stick around because they had a government meeting to get to. They did ask me to pass on their regards, though. The fact that these busy people all made time to attend the party is telling. Clearly, Ito wasn't exaggerating about the stature of the Arataki gang. Ito, what can I say? It's truly been an honor to work with you. <laughs> well, Jack Attack, I can't take all the credit. Let's not forget the Traveler's part in all this. A lot of people showed up because they knew he'd be here. If we do this again, we gotta make sure we find a way to get him on stage. How's that sound, compadre? Get that rock and roll spirit ready, cause next time it'll be your turn to rock our collective socks off! Uh, your Excellency, I believe the Tenryo Commission detective is... Don't worry about it, Goro. The Puppy Union was a joint venture between us and the Yashiro Commission. If we can maintain secrecy, then all the better for it. 
that was never the main goal. We saved some lives, and that's what matters. I was more worried about the potential impact on your reputation, Your Excellency. After all, some of the lives we've saved belong to the Shogunate. If someone with an agenda finds out, it could cause an uproar. Don't worry. There might be a way to make it work out in our favor. Really? How? Times have changed. We and Narukami Island are supposed to be working together now. So it's not necessarily a bad thing if people discover that we were already cooperating with the Yashiro Commission even during the war. Hmm, I see. Goro, if you want my opinion, you should be more concerned about Miss Hina than you are about this. Miss Hina? What makes you say that? I hear she works for That's Life magazine as well. She's young, popular, pretty, and she seems to be just as good at offering comfort to people in need as you are. So, it looks like you have some competition. <clears throat> Understood, Your Excellency. I will work hard to stay ahead of the competition. something new today. I never knew that the Hydro Nation's rock music had the power to stir up lightning. Miko, a few days ago, some strange paper notes flew into Tenshukaku, demanding that I hand over the dog. So I am here to see what on earth it was all about. <laughs> I just assumed you must have gotten yourself a pet puppy. As it happens, I also received an invitation letter via Sara. I've never heard the name Arataki before, but they must be one of my subjects, and so I thought, why not grant them their wish? Ah, so you came here to make a little Oni's wish come true, hmm? So tell me, how do you plan to respond to the Fontanian musician? It sounded to me like his music was commenting on the war. The war? I'm not sure we can give him the answer he would hope for. But if nothing else, I know that we must avoid another war at all costs. The people cannot be made to suffer like that again. Hmm. But what if the bigger war comes to pass? What then? If it cannot be avoided, then I will have no choice but to fight. Hmm. Well, if that day comes, I'm sure that everyone here tonight will fight by your side.
prevails throughout the land, and all things are made new, as buds in the spring. Hey, Traveler. Thanks again for all your help. Everything went perfectly. I think I'm gonna stay here for a while and just enjoy the scenery. Sure thing. Like I said, I'll be here for a while, so you know where to find me. <laughs>